Tensions between the governor and the Oklahoma senator boiling over with accusations the governor is getting involved in upcoming primary races. Fox 25's Capitol reporter Peyton May joins us now live. Peyton, I know you spoke with the governor today. Is there any truth to this? Well, Wendy, like many issues in the past, the governor and the president pro tem of the Senate have opposite opinions, but the latest claims that the governor is allegedly interfering with elections has escalated this Republican versus Republican issue to the next level. It's going to be very unwelcome if he tries to take out members of our caucus, and I know there's strong rumors to that end that uh, he is seeking to take out uh, good members of the Republican caucus. And Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat is airing out his grievances with rumors he's heard circling around the rotunda. The governor allegedly funding candidates to replace Senate members in the upcoming election cycle. And we've heard from people who've been hit up by his operation to go after our members and uh, that's not well received. The governor is debunking the rumors, claiming he's only been in contact with one person, a current senator. The only one that I've endorsed is, is senators, uh, or I told him I would do it, was uh, Cody Rogers. Uh, so we're not going to make any decisions until after the filing date. Though he's denying the claims, he admits he may get involved in the future. I got involved two years ago and I went 11 for 11 in Senate House races and people that I endorsed because people... They come to the governor and they ask me, you know, hey, who should we vote for? Who who believes like we do in limited government? And so uh, I absolutely may get involved. It's a shame that he, if he's even thinking about that, because uh, that that would actually put him on a worse footing with the Oklahoma Senate than he already is. President Pro Tem Treat adamant that intrusion from the executive branch will not be tolerated by the legislature. It's it's a very stupid move if he really is doing it, if the rumors are true. I signed a dignity pledge, and so I don't think there's any any room in politics for, for him to call me stupid. Filing actually begins next Wednesday, and there's a handful of lawmakers who will not be seeking re-election. Reporting live at the Capitol, Peyton May, Fox 25 News.